Hello everyone, so today we are making heart shape wax brittle. Um, I thought it was kind of fun to do for Valentine's Day. I picked out some pretty interesting fragrance oils. I'll go over them in a minute. I have just have to get my gloves on. Um, for those of you that don't know what wax brittle is, it is the same as a wax tart. Those little, it comes in a pack like this typically, and you can just break it apart and pop it into your wax warmer, um, which is essentially what this is, is just uh, in a different shape. So I, I like to kind of do themes, and since obviously Valentine's Day is coming up, I found these cute little heart molds at Walmart, and I just couldn't resist, so I'm like, oh, these would be perfect. And they do make the perfect size a uh, little tart. You can just pop one little heart in your little wax warmer and it's good to go. So I do have my wax melting in a Presto pot, which is fabulous if you ask me. You can melt down a lot of wax at once and just pour off what you use. I make these like everything else in small batches. So it works out great. I got the little pans from the Dollar Tree. It helps me transport the freshly poured wax brittle, wax tarts, whatever you want to call them, to a new location so I can continue working. The towel underneath is to try to keep everything as warm as possible so everything is smooth. So that's kind of what everything is. Um, spatula, of course, for stirring. I have my thermometer which I like laser pointer gives me a temperature read which is really important for tart making candle making it's important for soap making um, I've been doing it for such a long time with the soap making that I really don't utilize it anymore because I keep everything at room temperature now but anyways uh, laser thermometer fragrance oils um, I have my scale off to the side. You guys probably can't see that. And then, like I said before, my giant Presto pot. So now, here are the fragrance oils that I chose for this release. This release, I'll leave it in the description as well, will be released February 4th, which is my cousin's birthday. Funny enough, I have a lot of family members, and including myself, that have birthdays this time of year. When I recorded this video, it's January 11th. It's my dad's birthday. My birthday was on January 4th, one week prior. My cousin's is February 4th, one month away from me. And then, to give you a little bit more, my brother is five days away from my mom. So, that's kind of fun. Anyways, enough about birthdays. On to the fragrance oils. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is a chocolate raspberry drizzle. This one's really good. I, I, I made a soap with this recently and it's, it held up pretty well. The next one is Black Cherry Bomb. This one is very strong. It, even when you go to read their description at Nutris Garden, you can, it says it can tingle your nose and it definitely does. It's a very good, I like this one versus Bite Me, which is another good cherry scent. Bite Me is more candy-ish. This one's more cherry sweet pea I like this one's a very light floral I haven't used this one in soap yet um I can't wait this will be a part of my March release um it will be a bunch of floral scents and then sultana I'm pretty sure you guys can guess where this one's a, a dupe from I'm not sure if I should show the name or not but it's Sultan, and this one's from Aztec. Uh, I enjoy a lot of Aztec fragrances. So, let's get started. I'm gonna go and measure off my oil and measure my fragrance oil, and I'll bring you guys right back. So now I have measured my wax, and I measured my fragrance oil, and this is where you have to pay attention to the temperature. So let's see what it is now. 175. So we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. Try to scrape down the sides, get everything melted down a little bit. I'm going to stir this. And when this gets down to about, 
I'm gonna say 150 is when I'm gonna pour my fragrance oil. I don't like to go really any lower than that when I pour my fragrance oil, especially when it's been cold in the room, outside. And the fragrance oil we're gonna work with first is uh, Sweet Pea. So, while we're letting that cool, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our candle dye. A little bit goes a long way. You put a couple drops in there first. A little bit goes a long way. You put a couple drops in there first. And this is Hunter Green. Hmm. Grab the long dye today. Which is fine, because now it's going to be eucalyptus and experiment. Now, I use one ounce of fragrance oil to 10 ounces of candle wax. I know that this is one ounce, so that's why I'm pouring it directly in. You want to stir this for quite a bit. Make sure it's nice and incorporated. And instead of pouring it into the heart shapes, I'm just going to pour it directly onto this pan. And that's the typical way of how I make my wax brittle. These are great size. I measured it out before. And this experiment. Okay, so this is just about ready. Uh, cool down just a tiny bit more. And this is the fun part about wax pearl is you get to pour it right onto the pan. Now, the soaper in me wants to scrape this out and dump it in there, but the candle person in me says, uh-uh-uh, don't do that, because you get these weird little chunks on top and you don't want that at all. It looks good, looks pretty even. These minty ones always kind of tickle my nose. Okay, so that's done. Well, we are cool beans with this one. I'm going to switch these around and then we're going to work on sweet pea and make it pink, not green. Okay, take two. Sweet pea time. I'm going to make it pink because I'm going to use the proper dye, the red dye that was hiding behind my camera. Go figure, right? Okay. Well, this is going to be great for you guys because it's like a double bonus or like a, not double bonus, but bonus because you get bloopers. Minus all the cursing. I had to edit those out. It was like a whole five seconds of it. Anyways, so we're gonna work with this one. We're gonna work with uh, Sweet Pea Fragrance. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'm gonna add the dye lightly. A little bit goes a long way with candle dye which is awesome because it lasts a very, 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 very long time. And when you use the pipe bits like this, I don't use the little dauber droplet thingies that the candle companies typically, oof, oof, hold on, oh boy, this stuff stinks. This stuff stinks. When it gets in there, it's fine. But right now out of the bottle, it's like, wow. Okay, this stuff goes a long way. I like to use these disposable pipe bits 
for grabbing dye instead of using the daubers because this dye will will rot the little silicone part they that you squeeze that thing I don't know what it's called I know it has a technical term but it's the squeezy thing but anyways I just like to use these it makes it really simple and easy to clean up and so on and so forth so a little bit goes a long way Two, three. I'm gonna do three drops and you can control it really easy. So if you need to do this again, you can. So, red dye this time. Wow, look at that. It's always fun to watch it turn. Now it will get lighter. And best thing to do is actually use a white spatula because then you can see on it what color it would really be in the end. Then let this cool down to about 150. 152. Give a little bit longer. Because I don't want it to burn off the fragrance oil. That's why I want to kind of let it cool down a little bit. But it's going to cool down quickly because it's cold outside. There we go, 150. So now I'm gonna add the sweet pea fragrance oil. And stir, stir, stir. Because if this is cold, which it would be because it's in at room temperature, when it hits the wax, it solidifies the wax. So you have white chunks of fragrance and it will obviously be dispersed. So you got to stir, stir, stir. That's why on colder days, it's kind of important that you do it at a little higher temperature. The wax is actually higher temperature than uh, like summer days because this is room temperature in summers for us is like 80. I think that's working out really well. Now it's 142. I'm going to wait until that drops down to 140. And it'll be poured in here. Yeah, there's a little bit of wax. I tested out how much these weigh when they're full. I was going to do them half, but they're only like half an ounce each. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour now. It's also very important that your table is level for obvious reasons. No, ah, no, can't scrape wax into part, but I'm going to because that's the rest of it. It's okay, that'll be my tart. Sweet pea fragrance oil is pretty interesting. I can't describe it, it's just sweet pea. I'm gonna let those sit and set up right there and we'll bring it back if I have enough wax for one more because of oops <laughs> that one over there all right see you in a few minutes and here's a close-up of the tarts they look so cool when they're all they're freshly poured those little pieces right there 
don't worry about those little pieces like that. They actually just peel right off. So, and that one's mine. I can't wait to use that one. And here's a close up of the, whoops, hey, I made green wax. So let's just make this eucalyptus and spearmint wax brittle. I'll bring it back, guys back when this is all ready to crumble up. And that's like the most relaxing, most awesome part about wax brittle is you get to, you just get to break it apart. So I'll bring you guys back for that. Okay. We're back and it's been, oh, I want to say an hour or so since we poured the, the wax brittle here. It's completely cool. As you can see, it's starting to peel away from the tin or the, the, uh, cookie sheet. So now what we get to do is break up the brittle and I guess it were, it, it got its name is because it lo if you ever seen peanut butter brittle it 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 looks the same way you just snap it and you you know eat a little bit and it's actually really good um and this that's exactly what you do with this wax now that it's in this form we're going to take it out of this this cookie sheet that i got from the dollar tree and break it up so this is going to be the interesting part is flipping it out of this thing let's do it this way and what I like about these cheap cookie sheets is they're flexible. So it kind of helps wiggle the wax off the, off, off the sheet. And sometimes it does stick and that's totally fine. Oh, it smells so good. I bought the... I bought the fragrance oil, eucalyptus and spearmint from Aztec Candles on a whim. I just wanted something different and I'm really glad that I did. It's really nice. Very effervescent, I guess, kind of, but anyways. So just like I said before with the wax bottle, you just crack it. Now you have to have a special type of wax for this to work. I picked up the Flaming Candles Pro Blend 650 and it's a mixture of soy and paraffin. See, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to make sure it's absolutely cold when you do this. And you just break it apart. I mean, if you're having a bad day or stressed out or happy or just want to destroy something, Wax Brittle is the way to go. You definitely have some fun with it and stress reliever and this is great. I like to keep them in bigger chunks like this for now and then when I go to weigh out the, the wax into the packaging is when I start breaking up into little tinier bits. And you can seriously hear the snap. Let's see if I can get it good. There you go. Try to keep, I, I at least try to keep them in oddball shapes. I mean, this is just so, if I could just get a job doing this all day, I'd be the happiest person on earth. Just breaking up wax, having lots of fun. Okay, so here we have the wax brittle and that is just that easy. And you can go, if you like, you can break it into the smaller pieces and whatever. And what you would do is, I already have some here, melted a little bit. Ooh. Let's grab my other wax one. Okay, so what you would do with this, obviously you have your little candle out of the package, a little tea light. Some are electric, which is really nice and it's a little safer than obviously the little flame or little tea light. But you put your candle down here and you light it and you put your bowl on top and you take a piece and you just pop it in there and it'll melt down and that way you control how much you want it to smell, how much you want to burn that day. If you want to just, you know, pop a couple of tiny pieces in there for an hour, for an hour or so 
smell in the house, which is great. Or you can put a bunch in there and have it burn all day. Never leave your candle alone, obviously. But that's what you do with this. Okay, and we're back. And these little heart-shaped wax tarts have completely cooled down. They are nice and solid. They look great. Let's see. The best way to do this is to pop it out. Like so. Oh, and there you have it. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. That is so cute. I really enjoy making these wax tarts. They're super easy, very fun, very festive if you ask me. I love the little hearts. I think these are like the most perfect size ever. And they just come right out of the mold. How cute is that? Alright guys, I'll see you later.